Hello? Hello? Yes. <clears throat> uh, you say that, uh, like, Prophet uh, Muhammad, he, he's not the one because in the Quran it says that the one who comes after Jesus will be Ahmed, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what about in uh, the Bible when it says the one, the Messiah, he will be called Emmanuel, but the one who came, his name is Jesus. Jesus does not mean Emmanuel. It's like different meanings. So mm. No, it's not different meaning, actually. If you, if you know what the word, do you know what Jesus means? Jesus means the anointed one, the Messiah, it does not mean God is with us. Uh, <clears throat> uh, are you a student of Muhammad Hijab? I'm not a student of Muhammad Hijab. So where you get your knowledge from? I researched it, hmm. googled it. What's the meaning of Christ? Christ means the anointed one, the one anointed with oil. The so one. Jesus is the anointed one, Christ is the anointed one, both of them are the anointed one? Yes. Hmm. Who told you that? <clears throat> I looked it up. How about you look it up since it's like your religion? Like you mm. should know that. Emmanuel means God is with us. It does not mean anointed one. So mm. how, how can you say that uh, Ahmad is different than Muhammad even though they share the same roots? It's not the no, same. No, you but see, like when you say to me, roots. I searched that, where do you get this from? Can you show me? I can send you the link. It's uh, What link? All your, uh, it's a Christian website. Mm. As biblical scholars, they're the one who said that. Oh, mm, I didn't get mm, it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it from well, myself. So. As, as I know that Yeshua means the Savior, the one exactly. who will rescue, the one who will save the world. Yeah, yeah. This is not that anointed one. He is anointed one for sure, but this is not the name. The name Yeshua means the Savior. You are saying to me that Yeshua or Jesus means the anointed one. That's it. And Emmanuel is not the same, right? Yeah, Emmanuel means God is with us. Well, this is one of his names. We believe in Jesus that He is God with us. Well, Muhammad. It's the same thing with Muhammad and Ahmed. Muhammad. No, my friend. No, Muhammad. He said that the, the the person Jesus. Just you know, when he say that God with us, which means people they will believe that He is God with us. This is why they will call Him God. And you Muslim, you say to us, where Jesus says, "I am God, worship me." Well, so, and, uh, so Yeshua, Yeshua or Yeshua in Arabic we say Yeshua, is a Hebrew verb for Yesha, uh, Yesha which is mean the one who saved, the one who delivered, the one who rescued. So even His name. Conveys to us a very clear name of God. <clears throat> uh, it does not mean that He is God. He, he Savior means someone who saves. It does not mean that He is God. Mm. He was the. Who is the one who saved the world? Is it uh, angel? Is it uh, man? Is it God? The one who saves the world. Mm. I don't know because I don't believe. I don't believe in that. Like God, He became a man and then He died for us. It just doesn't make sense. Because what's the point? Like if God died for us, then we could just sin. Like. Why would God need to do that? Nobody says, no, but first of all, you have a very funny idea of Christianity. Who is who is the one who said that he need to do that? God, he, he did what he did because he loved us. People, they say, if, if God is, is real, let him show himself. Okay, he came to you. If God is real, if you are God, make this man come from death. Okay, he did. Make this blind see. Okay, he did. Uh, 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 control the nature. Okay, he did. Uh, create from the bird of mud. He, okay, he did. Uh, 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 <clears throat> stay alive. And he, his, you know, he, he did. Still until now, he is alive for, uh, uh, for thousands of years. So, you don't believe that God need to do so. Who said that God he need to do so or even he have to do so? We as a Christian when we say that God he came to us and he died for us We are not talking about the death of God. God never died That God who came to us in the form of a man the flesh of a man that person that flesh was killed But God is always alive and Jesus is exist have nothing to do with his birth as an example Jesus said before Abraham I am <clears throat> And the Bible all over says that God name is I am so each time Jesus says, I am, he is saying, I am God. And this is what Emmanuel present, that he is Hosha or Yeshua or Yeshua, which is God is with us. And this is what you can find in the Bible. Uh, uh, if you go to the book of Number, if you go to the book of uh, uh, many books, actually, you know, I think Number 13, 16, you will find the names there present to us, who is Jesus. So Eel, Eel uh, is a word mean God. Now the question here for you, I don't know if you are with me from the beginning, my friend. Your prophet I said, with... your prophet said that, that the most important name for Allah or the dearest names for Allah are Abdullah <clears throat> and Abdul Rahman. Okay. So why it is not the name of Muhammad? Uh, it doesn't have to be the, the name of Muhammad. Why does it have to be? Well, I don't know. You tell me because if Allah, the first name he wrote in his chair is the name of Muhammad, why this name would not be the first dearest name? Is, is it Muhammad is the most dearest person to Allah? Yeah. Hmm. So how yeah, come he is the most dearest person to Allah, but his name is not the most de dearest? Are you saying to me, Muhammad, you got the wrong name? Well, that's exactly <laughs> like what you said about Ima the, the Messiah is supposed to be Emmanuel, but his name became was Jesus. It's like, it's you're saying... No, no, no. He will be called, my friend. He, he will be called. He will be called. God is with us. He will be called. Okay, this is... In the Bible, there's no names. In the Bible, there's no names. All those are not names. They are titles. So he will be called. Yeshua is not even a name. It is a title for the Savior. 
same as the Christ, Muhammad. same as the Christ. Now, is Muhammad a name or it's a title? Muhammad is a name, but he, he is also called Abdullah title because he was also a slave of God. So. Mm, but you see, his, uh, but, but, but the name, he got the wrong name. His name is Muhammad, not Abdullah. You see here, your names, which are the dearest to Allah, are Abdullah and Abdul Rahman. So if Muhammad is a person chosen by Allah, and he is the one who inspired the mother of Muhammad to change his name from Qatham to Muhammad, if this name, if his dream is coming from Allah, that means the name of Muhammad should not be Muhammad, should be Abdullah or Abdul Rahman. And here we have a problem. Why Muhammad? His name is uh, uh, Muhammad anyway. Uh, Muhammad is the name of God, the praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised two? Uh, <clears throat> what do you mean the praised two? The praised one means the one who receives praise. Okay, so, thank you very much, guys. The praised one. He is the one who receives praise. Do you Muslim praise Muhammad or praise God? Uh, we praise we we praise God ultimately, we, but we also praise Muhammad as a prophet. But hmm. we don't we don't praise him. As so why Allah? His name is not the praised one. If this is what mean the, the one who receive a praise, right? Do Allah receive a praise? Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. So yeah. why his name is not the praised one and that name given to Muhammad? Uh, Allah does have a name that means the praised one. I think Al Hamid. Thank you very much. See, guys, Allah and yeah. Muhammad they have both they're both the same name, Al Hamid and Muhammad. Both of them they are the praised one. But Muhammad is is a human name. Like it means the praised one, and, and like he's a human. It no, mean no, my friend. No, my friend. My friend. The praised one cannot be a name for a human because how how a human can be praising a human? A human who is a sinner. Is your prophet a sinner? Yes, he is. Okay, he's a sinner. So how, how he became a, how he earned that title, the praised one. Do you do you praise the sinner? Uh, <clears throat> like I don't I don't understand. Like the point that you're saying just doesn't. I'm saying, my friend, listen to me. If if Muhammad yeah. is a sinner and you agreed, which is good. So if if I am a sinner, you want to praise me for my sin? We don't praise him for his sin. We okay, so you praise him for, him for what? Things. For what? We praise him because he did good things. Like despite what? Having sin. Like what? Well, he, he abolished infanticide that is burying the girls alive. That's a big fat lie, yeah. my friend. That's a big fat lie. You want me to prove it to you? This is yeah. not about burying the, the girls. I have nothing to do with burying the girls. And none of the Arab burying the girls. If, you, if I ask you right now, can you show me the reference of burying girls? People will love. There's nothing. There's nobody burying the girls. This is a fabrication, and the Muslims have nothing to do with their own. Uh, 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 you know, if we go, let us see. <clears throat> let me show you some reference. <clears throat> okay. Okay, look, look with me in the screen. <clears throat> You speak Arabic, I guess, right? Yeah. All right, that's wonderful. I like it when somebody speak Arabic because that will make it easier for me. Do you see the website? What is the name of the website? Uh, the website? Hmm? It's, uh, I can't see the address. No, no, do you see the the, the logo? Ahl al-Quran. Correct. What does that mean? The people of the Quran. All right, those are Muslims, correct? Yes. Okay. Tafsir al-Mawuda and nafs al-Mu'adhaba. Tafsir al-Mawuda and nafs al-Mu'adhaba wa laysa radiya al-Qatila. So the title is telling you what is the correct answer. It is a nafsul mu'adhaba. When a, when a soul when a soul is buried and like you kill somebody, and supposedly now he is killed or this person, woman or male or female doesn't matter, is killed. He is buried, and then his soul is buried with him. So the soul will say, "For what guilt I was killed?" It's not about the child, baby. Read with me. صدق المفسرون التفسير اللغوي لكلمة الموعودة ففسروها بأنها رضيعة أو الطفل التي قتلها والدها خوفا من الفقر والأولعار ومن ثم تم تفسير قوله تعالى وإذا الموعودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت بأن الطفل القتيل يتم سؤالها بأي جريمة تم ذبحها ومن أمثلة ذلك تفسير أضواء البيان etc etc okay and then he says to you وإذا الموعودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت هذا قراءة الجمهور سيات الموعودة أنا كان هذه الدسورة في الجبيلة كراهية البنات etc etc okay let's 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 go to the conclusion وفي القراءة المعروفة نجد القراءة المعروفة سئلت وقتلت وهناك قراءة أخرى وهي سئلت وقتلت بمعنى أن الموعودة يسي the Quran you have two Quran here he is he's mentioning two Quran one Quran says سئلت وقتلت and the other one it says قتلت سألت وقتلت وقتلت سألت سئلت and سألت and there's a huge difference and this is shown as the corruption of the Quran because there's a huge difference between سألت which means uh, uh, she asked and سئلت which means she been asked uh, بمعنى الموعودة هي التي تتساءل وليست التي تسأل من غيرها وهي تسأل قاتلها وهو والدها بأي جريمة قتلها فالتاء في سؤالات وقتلت تاء الفاعل وفي كلتا الحياتين هناك مشكلة هي أن الطفل موودة so, sorry guys I'm just reading for him in Arabic we'll translate uh, uh, أن الطفل موودة الرضيعة لا تتكلم لعدم علمها بالشيء كما قال تعالى بسرعة النحل والله أخرجكم من بطون أمهاتكم لا تعلمون شيئا remember she is an infant and here they are saying to you this is cannot be about an infant because the Quran confirmed that when a baby is born he know nothing he cannot talk this is there's only one option one exception that is Jesus when he is born he speak because Jesus is different in Islam ومن ثم فهي لن تسأل ولن تسأل 
طبقا لقوله تعالى في سوره الانبياء <تصفيق> كما بدانا اول خلق الخلق نعيده. ذن سي <تصفيق> نعود لكلمه قتلت فقد تم تفسيرها كما هو في المشهور معاني اللفظ قتل وهو الذبح وهي وفاه غير طبيعيه بينما هناك معنى اخر هو اللعن كما في قوله تعالى في سوره المنافقون قتلهم الله ان يؤفكون والمراد لعنهم الله كيف يكفرون بافاضل عقبها يكذبون اتسترا ومن ثم فالمعنى لا علاقه له بقتل البنات الرضيعه ومعنى العباره اذا الموؤوده سئلت باي ذنب قتلت واذا المتعبه استفهمت باي جريمه لعنت اي بالفاظ اخرى واذا النفس المعذبه تم سؤالها لاي سبب عذبت وهو يطابق قوله تعالى في سوره المدثر ما سرككم في صقر الى اخره. So you see my friend this is a wrong understanding the Muslims they have and you Muslims even don't agree about it. So the Muslims they took false interpretation saying that here is about burying babies but the verses have nothing to do with burying babies the verse is about when you kill somebody and you will kill with no guilt that that body he did there is two reading one says su'ilat and the other one salat which means the quran is corrupt and both of them will lead us that there is no way it can be for a baby because the quran confirmed that babies cannot talk and they do not know and they will go always to the first stage even when, when they are created or let's say are resurrected so the confirmation here that this has nothing to do with killing babies now we go back to zero why you praise muhammad and even this is uh, and, and here we go. even though i refuted you about this even this is not Muhammad he brought it. If this is if this is from Allah, what you are saying to me that Muhammad he brought this. That's me. Muhammad is the one who fabricated this verse. Uh, actually, uh, this uh, I want to know what tafsir is this because there's obviously multiple tafsirs. Uh, what tafsir is this? The one that says that it's the not guy, his name is at Tabab Tabababi, whatever his name, you know. Tabari or Rada Rada, Rada Al Battawi Al Battawi, an Egyptian sheikh. Or I never heard of him. Who care? Anyway, you said to me that Muhammad he brought this, correct? That's me, Muhammad. Uh, yeah. That's me, Muhammad is the one who fabricated the Quran, because either this is coming from Allah or this is coming from Muhammad. It's coming from who? Coming from uh, from Allah through Muhammad. So, I mean, what 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 favor Muhammad he have? You know, if God he gave me a verse to tell you to tell it to you, does that mean I am the one who did the favor? I'm just. You told me a second ago that Abdullah is the best names, right? Which means the servant of Allah. So now you are a servant of Allah, and yet you are the one who did me a favor. No, this is Allah. Muhammad he did not even say he did not even say anything supposedly. Muhammad he de delivered a verse from Jibril. And Muhammad, he repeated the verse in front of us. So what he did? So why you want to praise Muhammad? So you gave me false verse, have false meaning, false interpretation. And now we have a prophet. You praise him just because he is the one who delivered for you a verse. Well, there's many ones. There's Musa, he delivered verses. There's Abraham, delivered verses. There's Isa, he delivered verses for you. There's 124,000 messenger of Allah, they deliver verses for you. How come their name is not the praise one? Well, you, don't you believe that, that Jesus, uh, he's, he's Emmanuel, God is with us? So because he's God, my friend. This is God. So are you saying that Muhammad is God too? Please. No, I'm not saying that. I'm okay, for that me, you, you see, you cannot compare because for me, Jesus is God, is not a prophet. If I call Jesus Emmanuel and he is a prophet, that would be a problem. But if I call him Emmanuel and I believe he's God who came to us, that's not a problem. That's perfect. Actually, fit with the belief. So now you call Muhammad the praised one based on what? Yeah, I have a question for you. You want to you know, answer the question by question? Yes. Mm, okay. Yeah, don't you believe that? Do you, do you believe, uh, do you know about Elijah? Mm. Elijah the prophet? What does Elijah mean? What does that mean? It means uh, the uh, the one who God praises. Mm. Right. Muhammad Hijab, he said, uh, Elijah means God is with us. No, no, he's wrong. Mm. Muhammad Hijab was wrong. Well, Elijah, Elijah means the one, the one who's praised by God. So he's the one who praised by God. Mm, man, that's uh, amazing. So why are you saying that? Uh, Abdul, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you see, I like it when Muslims, when uh, when he, he give us meaning. So you are saying that God uh, Elijah mean the one who uh, God praise him. Yes. Where are you guys from? I looked it up. If, 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 I mean, you Muslims are expert in Arabic, expert in Hebrew. Uh, let us let us change the language we're talking to now to Chinese. Where you, I mean, you are saying to me, I looked it up. It looked like you are you are a student of Muhammad Hijab who knows nothing. But Muhammad Hijab, he says God is with us. You are saying to us, uh, uh, praise God. What what, what he said? Elijah, Elijah means my God is Yahweh. It means the one who, like, he, yeah. He but you, but God. a second ago you said something else. You said you search Google, right? So you know you, you notice that you are saying something stupid. No, I, I made a mistake. Ah, you made a mistake. Okay, okay. Yeah. So okay, let, let us go back to zero. So why the name of Muhammad is the praised one if he is not your God? Because he's the the last prophet, and he was he was a good he was a good man. He never he, lied, and he, um, he never lied. Yeah, Muhammad never lied. Yeah, his name was Al Amin. Wow, what did Al Amin mean? Al Amin means the, the 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 truthful one. The truthful, he trustworthy, trustworthy, correct? It's worthy, yes. Mm, okay. Did you hear about the story of Zaid? Uh, Zaid ibn Haritha. 
Zayd, the adopted son of Muhammad. Zayd ibn Haritha, yes, I know. When Muhammad, he went to the house of Zayd and he flirted with the wife of Zayd when she was married to Muhammad. Was Muhammad a trustworthy person or he was a bad person? He, he did not flirt with her. He came to the house and he, he, he was shy. He didn't even want to look at her. And Are you sure? Left. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Which interpretation would you like me to read for you? Uh, what do you mean interpretation? You mean like, this, this is in Hadith. It's not in the... You mean Sahih Bukhari or Muslim? You mean? Interpretation for what happened. I mean, the story. Which, where, where we will get the story? The story. We go to books, Islamic books, and they will tell us the stories, correct? Let us go to some Islamic books and see if Muhammad, he flirted with her or not. Give me a second. And I will make you read with me on the screen. And I'm so happy that you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse to say. I do not know. Doesn't say that. Uh, we go. And we find the story. Here we go. This is the Tafsir al-Qurtubi. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Remember, you said Muhammad is a trustworthy. Let us see. When a man he go to the house of a married woman, and he flirt with her, and he said to her that my heart is a flipping for you. Let us see. <coughs> Read with me carefully. ثم أنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زين بقائمة كانت بيضاء جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش فأويها فقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب فسمعت زين بتسبيحة فذكرتها لزيد ففطن زيد فقال يا رسول الله إذن لي في طلاقها. Translate my friend. زوج النبي زين بن شحش ما تنسب أويها قال سبحان الله فسمعت زين بتسبيحة كذا فطن زيد قال أذن لي في طلاقها إن فيها كبرا. He told him to uh, stay with your wife. Okay, but so translate the first, translate the first. Why you jump the first? I mean, this, this is the only sentence you saw. I mean, you read all, and only this is the only sentence you want to translate to us. Translate the rest, all of it, all of it. Well, from here, go ahead. He, Muhammad, he came to Zayd Yoman seeking him, and he saw Zainab standing. Continue. He saw her, she was white and beautiful, uh, of the women of Quraysh. So, I think it means that he liked her. He said, Subhanallah, Muqallab al uh, and then Zainab translate, heard, uh, translate, uh, translate, 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 which means he loved her, and he said, and he said, uh, praise God, the, the changer of hearts, and then he, he okay. heard, uh, Zainab so, heard the, so the blessing. So it says that Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son, and the wife was there alone, and your prophet, he flirted with her, speaking loudly, to the point she heard him saying, that praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. And it says they are fahawiha, which means he fell in love with her, correct? Yeah. Okay. Is that a trustworthy if your father come to your house and your wife, she's alone and he say to her flirting words like you are sexy, you're man, I like you. Mm, wow. Yummy. Huh? If he say such a thing, God forbid, is your father or even if he is your friend or even if he's your brother, is that a trustworthy person? Uh, wait, this hadith, like, uh, is it, uh, is it a weak one? Is it a weak one? Uh, Guys, is it a weak one? Come on, man. Be honest. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. This is your Islamic website, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Tafsir al Qurtubi. I have nothing to do with it. This is a story written by Muslims, about Muslims, from Muslims, about their Prophet. There's no way. If the Muslim wrote this about their Prophet, so imagine how ugly the truth is. Because always Muslims, they try Muhammad to look the most perfect man. I, for me, if you ask me, I believe Muhammad already is sleeping with this woman because he is the one who married her to Muhammad. So Muhammad, obviously, he married this woman to, to Zaid so he can get access to her anytime because nobody will suspect that he's sleeping with her. Because she is married to his own son by, by, by adoption. So now Muhammad, he got free access. The husband, he go to work. The prophet, he come home. He sleep with the wife. And the husband don't dare to ask anything. And then he will notice here that she said that to Zaid. Fafatina Zaid. Fafatina like bingo. Oh boy. This guy is sleeping with my wife already. So right away, he went to Muhammad says, I want to divorce this wife. She, I don't like her really. She, she's, she's hurting me with her tongue. You know, suddenly the guy, he was fine with his wife. The second she told him that your father was here and he flirted with me and he said that his heart is flipping for me, suddenly the guy went divorce her because he said he, he knew that he became he became a pimp. If he stay married to this woman, he's a pimp. Who is going to stop Muhammad, who is the king of his people now? This guy, he is no one. He is just an adopted son by Khadija. And it's then Muhammad, and then Muhammad, the, the trustworthy, the one you say you, you say he's trustworthy, he changed the law, which is practiced for centuries of adoption, which is a noble law. And he forbid Muslim from, you know, for adoption, just because he want to have this woman in his bed. Uh, well, I, I think this hadith is weak. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's weak. I mean, we need to, uh, I'm, okay, you can call me a month from now, I'm going to feed it. Read with me what Zainab, she said here with me. I want you to take attention to this. Zainab, he, 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 he
Do you see that? Each time it says here, أمسى زيد فأوى إلى فراشه قال زينب ولم يستطع أن يزيد وما امتنع منه غير ما منعه الله مني فلا يقدر عليه. Zayd he came to his bed to his wife which means they want to have sex with her and she said but he could not do it with me and nothing forbid him from doing it except Allah so he could not do it and this is the report of Abi Asma Nuh ibn Abi Maryam and then and this is mentioned coming from Zainab and uh, she, she mentioned that and one in one of the stories that Zayd his penis is swell each time he tried to get close to her do you think this is a miracle of Allah he made the husband penis swell um I don't know like it's just a uh... I mean, this is a miracle. Uh, Obviously, the guy, he want to sleep with his wife. Muhammad, now he liked the wife. Allah, he make the penis of the husband as well. Obviously, it's a miracle. Well, uh, like the Prophet did tell him to stay with your wife. And like in the end, he was human. Like he made mistakes. We don't believe You see, how Muhammad, he says to him, stay with your wife. And five minutes ago, he was flirting with the wife. I mean, obviously, don't, can't you tell this guy is a hypocrite? Imagine I come to a woman. I flirt with her. And then her husband come to me, says, I want to divorce her. And I know I want her badly. And then I say to him, no, no, keep your wife, man. Keep your wife. I mean, obviously, you come on. And even the verse saying that the verse is the verse saying Muhammad is saying that Allah told him why you are hiding what you, why you are hiding what you have in your heart for her. So what kind of God he said to a man, why you are hiding your lost? This is not love, this is lost. Muhammad already have many wives, you do not need one more wife. What kind of a God and what kind of a prophet he asked a man who is sending him as a trustworthy, saying to him, Why you hide what you have in your heart, which is for a woman she is married? Uh which which verse is that? What do you mean which verse is that? It's the verse we, we mentioned, you know, the verse in front of us, chapter 33. Verse number 37. He said to the man, Why you want to divorce your wife? Keep your wife for you. Keep your wife for you, man. Keep it, keep it. Eh? And then, but the, the verse saying, uh, 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 Why you are hiding what is inside you? The Muslim they say that Allah told him that this woman she will be yours. Why she will be his? She's married already. Well, uh, Zaid didn't want her, so. What do you mean they want her? Zaid, he never said, I, want, I don't want her until Muhammad. He went to his house and he flirted with her. You are the one who said to me, he's a trustworthy. Let us go to a different verse in the Quran. Forget about this one. Do you know that your prophet was accused to be, uh, he stole underwear? That he would never do that. Hmm. Well, let us see. As the Muslims, in chapter 3, in chapter 3, verse 161, it says that the Muslims accuse your prophet that he stole an underwear. There's no way. Like, that's, well, that's, I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Does it say they are here that the Muslim they accuse him to be a fraud? Do you see it? The Muslims accuse him to be a fraud, and Allah He sent them a verse to confirm that he is not a fraud. What What is the What is behind the story? There's a book. It's called Asbab al-Nuzul. Do you know the book? Yeah, I know it. All right. We can go to any tafsir you wish. Anyway, I mean, not necessarily this one. You know, but we will. We will see. We will try to to know what what this is mean. Chapter three, verse one sixty one. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, the one is calling. Like, don't you see? I'm talking to that gentleman here. Why you keep calling? Wait until he hang up, and then we take your call. What's wrong with people? All right. We go to 161. Hmm. Read with me, please. This is the Sira Jalani. When some red velvet Hello, clothes went Brown. missing in the yes, day of Badr, and like some, to say to us, uh, some began to say perhaps the Prophet took it. Uh, the following good, uh, was good the evening, evening because uh, it's not for a prophet to be Europe afraid. right now, or right. Right. not the US. So for us, Salam said there's no way the prophet uh, does need to. Yeah, all right. Salam to yes. all the Muslims. Why the Muslims accusing their prophet? Just to the Muslims, okay. Not to the Christians. Well, all right. Wonderful. Just some people so why not say Salam to the Christians? Some people they are Muslims. Right. Well, he's the best man. If I am the best man between them, I will be the last one to be accused. But if there's somebody have a reputation of being a thief, he will be the first to be accused. So there's many people who are in uh, the Finland. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you uh, take an oath uh, when you took your like, passport to be a Finnish uh, uh, citizen that it's, you will protect the kingdom and you will obey panty. the law? Uh, okay. so, uh, this is the Muslim uh, translation, no problem. Okay, it's a piece of clothes. It doesn't matter. It's a laundry. It's a laundry of somebody. He was killed and they took his clothes. The Muslim they attacked him and they took their clothes. I mean, what kind of a savage do you do that? Same time, what kind of a prophet is accused by his followers that he stole a piece of clothes regardless if it's a panty or a bikini or even a Gucci suit? What kind of a followers they accuse their best match? They did not accuse Omar or, or Abu Bakr. They did not accuse anyone. They accuse Muhammad himself 
the prophet well was uh, i was born the best into of islam and uh, i muslim this is this is how muslim they see the right religion because uh, well, and I believe the prophet is the seal of prophets and my friend, what this had to do with this? What this had to do with this? I'm asking you about a, a prophet of God that used so, uh, of Islam came by the Muslims. Truth. Okay. And I believe in it. Okay, it's proven. No, it's proven to be true. Because look what happened when the Muslims accuse Muhammad that he is stolen the peace of the underworld. Yes, yes, sir. Allah is in the first saying it's not right. And this is confirmed it's him. You know what? No, no, the question is very simple. Because if Allah is Almighty and He knows everything, shouldn't He tell us who is the one who took it? Yes, yes, I know. Either you say it's corrupted. If it's not Muhammad, it's called corrupted. So look what happened. We have a God. He is in the seven galaxies, and then we have a bunch of ants. You know, we call Allah the size of an ant for God, correct? Do you agree? In the Bible, like ants. So a bunch of ants are. But there are some things that also and then go, the one and who changed. created the galaxies, the one, one who created the stars, the one who created this massive space and amazing universe. He uh, speaks that was, uh, the, about what? With the Torah, about the Old a story Testament, involving not a piece of the New no. Testament. No, that's no, not true. To defend who? Because to defend Muhammad, who was accused of a theft. Uh, uh, and yet he did not know who is the one who took it. Because if this is coming from God, if this verse is coming from God, not from Muhammad, he should say, go to the house of this guy, you will find the panty there. And then that's it, bingo. People, they go yeah, there, they open the drawer of this guy, you found the clothes there, and they got him. But look what Muhammad did. Yeah. He created a verse saying, it is not, Allah said to me, it's no, not Muhammad, about, it's not no. Muhammad, Khabibi, not Muhammad. Those who are the, the one, no. if Allah, he told you to no. say to them, it's not what Muhammad, what Muhammad talking about? No. why he did not tell you who is the one who took it? Verse number 87, it's it's mentioned, Moses and Isa, and Isa, and Isa, we supported them by the Holy Spirit. And then right after that, he says, and when a book came, confirm what is with them, which means, because now he did not took it, so what is the proof? He should clear his name, how to clear the name, the verse how to clear the name of somebody if somebody accuses you of a guilt, how to clear his name? But the, just by saying he did not do it, no, you give him, you give him the real name, the one who did it, because obviously somebody took so it, right? Are somebody show took me, show it. me. Okay, what about you give us the name and then we clear the name of Muhammad, and people will know right away that this was was a mistake. Should not be happen. But to say it's not Muhammad, that confirm it's Muhammad. That confirm that Muhammad is the one who made this verse. Sorry. If somebody accuses me of killing somebody or raping some women or doing something ugly, and then God want to prove that I am not guilty, how he can do that? Have you ever heard of a court? You go to the court, you say it's not him. You have to bring him uh, the one who came the one who did it. What? They are accusing him. You have to bring you have to bring evidence. Chapter. Even Columbus, that the, the yeah, victim, he will not do that. Hindi, Even the monk, right? the guy in the movie, you know, like the, uh, the Lebanese guy. No, not the Indian guy. He what will not do that. So well, this is the culture. What kind of God he answered in such a way? Yeah, but not the, there is nothing uh with because he's related to anything. Hindu, yeah. no, it it's is. just uh no, the cow. Because how Allah he is a people from that. Okay, okay. What is the the verse? The verse. We're talking about chapter two, verse number eighty-seven. Well, this is about panty anyway. Who is who is more important now? The important is to claim the name. Of Muhammad, yeah, don't talk about panty. Don't mention the word panty. Don't so mention the word bra. Mention the name of the one who did that. <laughs> what? Yeah. To say it's not Muhammad who did that. This is a joke. Life. What is the proof? Allah is people. What Why is my proof that Muhammad is the one who made this verse itself? Saying it's Allah. He told me to tell you. It's not me who took it. Are you That's really funny. No. Wait. That, that Let's focus to court, on the. And the court accused me that I am a thief. I took something from somebody. And then I say to them, Oh God, just told me to tell you this. It is not for CP to steal. And the court will say, sure, as long God, he told you, okay, go, bye-bye, you are right. I never this know is stupid, anything about resurrection. Until now, the one who took the panty is missing, and the panty is missing. Until now, after 1400 years, the panty cannot be found. Yeah, would not. And if you go to the Saudi to Arabia website, you will find the big reward for the one Otherwise, who can lead us to the one who took the panty. So what kind of God, he comes with such a verse which is silly and does not make any sense. Life, not your God. Uh, I don't really... Okay, like, I've seen it. Like, and, uh, okay. yeah. uh, so, right. Chapter 2, verse 7, speaking like, of the Christian, the Jews, and the verse that the verse that the that verse that says, Wait, I'm going to read it. He doesn't have Indeed, to interfere like that. My, my friend, my friend, no, he have he have to interfere because now he is trying to prove to us that he's innocent. He did not prove to us he's innocent now. There's no proof. Because who is the one who did it? Nobody knows. Which means, obviously, Allah does not know. Because if Allah knows, let us say it's not Muhammad who took it in. Let us say it's was a false accusation. Until now, nobody knows who is the one who took this piece of the Jews. Okay, why Allah don't want to expose the thief? In Islam, it's the Jews, not the Christians. Okay, shouldn't we do the punishment of Allah upon the one who took the stolen? Yes, so that will do justice. Not only will clear the name of Muhammad, because this is an ugly crime, happened and now is accusing Muhammad, it's causing Muhammad to be accused of a crime, which means it is double. The Jews sin, it not once, it's not only just he stole, it is he is he causing the prophet to be accused by that death. The so the it is it is a must to clear his name Jesus. by telling us who so is the one who took it. But because Muhammad he knew that he is the one who took it.
So he fabricated well, uh, verse, okay. but the verse does not say so who is the one who wait, I tried to. We can show you. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. I read it again. Is, it's for a reason. So God obviously he cleared uh, the prophet's name by saying that he's innocent, mm. and then it's the people's job to find out who did it. Okay, my friend. You see, forget about everything we say. You just say that God it, it do everything for a reason. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Holy Spirit. What is the reason to send Muhammad? Why is it? Holy Spirit. Uh, the reason to send Muhammad is mm. to, uh, oh, wait, to bring back the, the true monotheism, mm. which is the, the true religion of Islam, because uh, I don't think uh, Allah, like, uh, it's like, I don't know, I, I feel like too much Allah of a like they kind of and took, they, it's like they made a monopoly on God. I don't think and, uh, Allah has a spirit, and uh, like, uh, so this like Judaism, passage I think you have talking to be, like, about Jewish the Holy Spirit, or Jewish, uh, or origin to be mm. like a Jew or mm. something. And, and Christianity, like, uh, yeah. they worship a man, mm. and, and like, there's obviously other pagan religions. Okay, so I see, a, I see a point, down, yes, uh, I see a point. To be the, to bring the I see a point. Okay, he gave uh, the okay, book. Let us take it one way. confirmed the book. Is that it, does is it not the fault? The, the, are you saying the Jews, they made the religion as a racist? Like, it's so that, that they are, they are favored upon Because we know that the, the Christians yeah, okay. have always so involved the okay. so that, religion that mean, that mean they are racist politics. If they, if they I know have the argument that they are that too, mankind, they are Christ, than mankind, I know right? Muslims no, friend, friend, do yeah, that too. Well, this is not the answer, my friend. You just said, yeah, okay. thank you very much. It says if we go to chapter 2, verse number 47, so is it is Allah who said that Allah, he favored the Jews upon all mankind. I think it's corrupt. This is talking about 1400 years ago. Why your God lying? This is chapter 2, verse number 47. Children of Israel, remember my blessing we are with. No, 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 no. You don't have it. So many things have been changed. Even the, okay, even the Jews on, says the same. And you are the one saying to me that this is racist. If you're a prophet, which means this is ugly, this is disgusting, this is bad. But it was Allah who preferred the Jews upon the all mankind. Book. The Messiah is Allah. Al Masih hu Allah. Uh, so the same Quran well, says I mean, that like, the Christian uh, believe uh -huh. that the Messiah is Allah and like, the Jews uh -huh. believe that Uzziah they, they, they fell from is God's the grace, son of like, Allah. Yeah, but a second ago, my friend, you said something different. You say that the Jews, they think they are better than others and I, I want to be sure what you mean. I said to you, do you think this is racist and this is ugly because they think they are better than mankind? You said yes. We agreed. And now we find that it was the fault, the fault of Allah. It's not the fault of the Jews. Allah, he said to them, I favor you upon all mankind. And this is a chapter 9, verse number 30. Uh, I forgot I, about I that. never know any Jews uh, that say okay. that. So uh, let us be consistent. I, 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 if somebody he think that he is above mankind, he is racist, that. as you say. I, I know Jews. Is it Allah who said that Christians the Muslims say that, are above all mankind? I never heard any I know. Jews you're, you're, you're prophet, compare the anybody that, uh, to God. Yes, yeah, I mean, we know. We know. Uh, your prophet is mentally no. ill, and okay. he say whatever he wishes. No, don't say that, Mr. Priest. I I just want to have a. You see, no, no, no. You cannot have any insult. If you prove to me this is wrong, it's okay. But let's not go to insult because. I'm I respect you a lot I'm because not of insulting. what you okay, do. Okay, I'm not insulting, my friend. It, it, all your book says is that Muhammad is mentally ill. Okay, okay. You are the you. best people. When somebody you are the best of people ever raised he has up sex, but in fact, and then between two brackets for the benefit of men. Chapter 3, verse 110. The best for mankind are those who bring them like with a chain around their legs. No. Till they embrace him. No, he's awake. He's awake. He's not what do you think about dream. He's awake. And he go I around and tell people that I had sex with my wives. And then maybe it's coming. Maybe you have a delay. touch any of them. So if this guy is Guys, so is it coming on your side? Do you see the hadith in the screen? To the point, he do not know what is real and what is fake. So based on your explanation, awake, not when he is Islam asleep. is a racist cult. Wait, wait, I have Many never people show me that yes. they are better than other people. Not only that, yes. Allah He gave them a duty with, to go and kill so he began and enslave and with the chains around the necks of people. In fact, He had not done in order supposedly to save them from hellfire. Now, very nice of you. You know, you come and you put a chain around my neck. And you drag mm. me like a dog or a donkey, yes. and that because okay. you're a good guy. Yes. So you take me this to is, this is Sahih, guy. Sahih al Bukhari. Okay. Yeah, this is because Sahih you want to see me. You know, Sahih al Bukhari. Bukhari is uh, wait, I, I read. Wait, I read. Obviously, it is. Yeah, wait. Once the prophet was bewitched, so that well, can I see it? Imagine. I, I want to see the. Thing. Yeah, here we go. Which, I'm sure yeah, but this is just talking no? about the prophet was doing. There was there's this nothing the there to talk about sex here. Oh, you know, I, 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 okay. I, I, I didn't know the story. story. I was it's going 32. to Warma to do shopping, and then I saw Aisha, and she told me that my husband, so his think? name is Muhammad. He imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not do that. Uh, and here we go. This is what she told me. Read with me carefully. Well, uh, yes. Okay, read. Well, well. You want to call a friend? Uh, I don't, I, I don't agree what? with the... Read, it's in front of you. You don't agree with your prophet? Did you say you don't uh, agree with the prophet? He has not... Okay. Did, you no, say, not did you say you don't agree with the prophet? It's 
not that. I think this this hadith wait, is wait, like wait, wait. I had never seen the, the prophet continued like, for was, such uh, and such period. Like, Imagining that he the trans uh, slept. There was like the transmission. You see, uh, before I used to have a car order. This one, my car okay, now okay. is like. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I used to have an order when the transmission so was very. This is Sahir Bukhari. This is your prophet. This is your book. This is your. This is your. Your Muslims are the one who's saying that. It's not me. You can get it from McDonald. Now, what we would do? I don't. I don't believe. Can you put the Arabic version? I. I. I want to show it to my wife. Because they were around 200 years after the Prophet's death. Like, how do we know that? Oh, yeah, she's uh, Egyptian. Ah, yeah, okay. How do you know who said right. that? Okay, what about the Quran? It says in chapter 3, verse 1010, Allah, He says that He made the Muslims are the best of mankind. And you are the one who said to me, the one who thinks He is the best of mankind is being racist. The best nation for the mankind, of the mankind. Who are the Muslims? Chapter, this is the Quran. What you would do with the Quran now? There's a wrong with the transmission. All right. Uh, I, Show me the verse. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Oh, it's yes. right. Are you, are you saying it, you don't it's believe It's right. But uh, wait. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember it. Some, don't you know, we okay, no, no, men no, no, sometimes no. we dream about, uh, you know, having a sexual relationship with women. Uh, it's just normal. You know what? I once just I, like, no. Once I, I had a dream that I have a, you know, a sexual relationship with my uh, refrigerator. Hold what on. are you talking about? This is a guy. This is chapter three. He is imagine one one himself thing. having sex with his one wife when he's awake. It's not an dream. And you are the one who said, if you believe in such a thing, you must say to his wife, "Did you like it?" She said, "Like what? You did not even." And the hadith there explained by Muhammad. How you should treat people as a best because man of mankind. You as a best, dream, your, your a duty dream. is to he go and kill them and, he was and enslave them and put this the chains around their necks as if they are dogs. He think he did something, but he in fact and this is mentioned in many books, by the way, so including Sahih Bukhari. Is this is Sahih Bukhari. Well, this is Sahih Bukhari now. This is not the book you can <laughs> run away from. This is Sahih Bukhari. The verse, you, mm -hmm. true Muslims, are mm -hmm. the best of people ever well, raised for mankind. Uh, means the best of the people for people uh, are, are, as you. I knew he was With the sick, chains on their sick, necks till uh, they embrace poison, him. but I never knew he was uh, bewitched. And Muslims uh, say to us, I mean, do you think the poison, do you think the poison he went down to his ear and then to the throat uh, and then came back to his brain? Hmm. Well, it's, uh, well, I, I think it's, who is the donkey who said that to you? Proving that it's possible for a uh, poison to actually it's affect not, not, your, your, this your memory, like your brain. Uh, uh, I think that is possible. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. that is proof. Yeah. But okay. I am not going to try to uh, say, oh, that maybe that's yes. the reason okay. because that well, is just. Oh, no, no. Uh, friend, you have no idea uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, do, do you know who I am first? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, imagine uh, sex. What do you mean? I mean, you do not know you're talking to who. Anything you say uh, in my presence will be used against you. Any word you say, you just say the word sin. When you say okay, Islam is coming from sin, where here we go? Allah, He forbid you from sin. To release 12 knots uh, nope. that okay. the Jewish no, guy he did to him. So he made it all of knots. And let's see, let's see, let's see if you are saying the truth or not. Not from Muhammad. You say that Allah, He told you to go for sin. Because Islam is coming from sin. Here we go. In Arabic it says, فَلَا تَهِنُوا وَتَدَعُوا إِلَى السِّلْمُ وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَلَمُ Translation. This is chapter 47, chapter of Muhammad. Still, so do not faint and call for peace, you shall be the uppermost, which means never call for sin, which means peace, when you are the uppermost. So Islam forbid you from going for peace. Uh, I, I remember that the fear of this okay. verse was when uh, if this is the, right. If but you're, uh, like, being persecuted, I, my wife, like, if you're persecuted, the reason I started really? uh, listening to you is because, really? uh, okay, what, what the uh, like a month ago, sorry for like. Over talking, but uh, my uh, wife can, told can, me she wanted to leave right uh, okay, the uh, religion. Mm -hmm. and okay, it was a, a this, is, this is the one in front of us. Chapter 47, verse number 30. Okay. I have 47, a, a daughter and a son. This is your official. So she told me that. Uh, what? Yes, yes. Uh, they told me that the, uh, that the prophet okay. married Aisha at this six is. years old and. Slept them at nine Don't because I him. asked the Sheikh. You he them said, because I, you are uh, I was 18. What you are saying and is absolutely During wrong. that time, that uh, the way women were perceived, like it's not like now. Mm. So, uh, I don't really uh, speak wait, okay, Arabic, and uh, I tried okay, I looking so for the verse in the Quran that says Aisha was like six, nine, but I never seen it. And my wife said, uh, it's you have it. When, uh, so, when can you please see what uh, wife says? I'm showing you all the things. No, you don't see all the things. No, 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 she won't because uh, uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's just brainwashing because I feel women are easily brainwashed. Ah, okay. So, are you saying that you're seeking peace when you are the uppermost? As simple as that. It's forbidden Islam. You can see no, I'm not are saying we? stupid because they but have now, emotions. You know, know, we have a daughter who is six years old, so, so that can this is the easily what like. Is uh, do men have but Allah gave you to or no? a permission to sign peace agreement. We have emotion, but we can. I feel we can see. When he was not the uppermost, he signed peace agreement until he got stronger, and then he killed them all. He was. 
And that's what the verse is saying. So you are saying to me, Islam is coming from the word Selm, which is false, because here we go. Don't even try to get it close to Selm. As long as you are a problem. I know this. Now, we know we when, the, when your sheikh says to you that uh, Muhammad Al-Alun here does not mean that uh, you're winning in battle. Means Muhammad Al-Alun means dead. You're you're time, my, friend. By your my friend, no, no. This is about superior with your, with your power. Your was bank, really. Muhammad is dead you. when she was So do not filter, in her flatter. 18, do not be weak. So do not call her, for and peace. And then he stayed with her nine, read, nine years uh, uh, after read. she he or he died. That is to say... A, a truce, a, a, a trust. I, 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 I don't really should what encounter them when you have the yeah, upper hand. Married. Upper hand uh, in what? In war. She was six years old. And what? And he consummated this is, his uh, marriage. Is that yeah. Was, if you want, we can change it for you. No problem. Yeah, I want to see the other tafsirs like okay, uh, no problem. In this website here. Okay, let's see the English first. This is Ibn Abbas. And we will show is you. Is this Sahib? No oh, I see Sahib. Okay. All is the same. Mm -hmm. You want me to open Can you please send me the link? I uh, open in my own uh, site. This is the yeah. no, cousin of your prophet. Mind, sorry. No problem. Here we go. The link is with you. I haven't sent it yet. But... Do you want to make a fear? Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, no problem. We are here to, to help the Muslims to understand their cult. We go to Ibn Kathir. Okay, one moment. I'm going to search the meaning of consummated in the dictionary. Sorry. Hmm. Dictionary for what? I want to check the meaning of consummated in the dictionary. Sorry. It means consummated in me here. Have intercourse. Okay, so right? not altered, he did boom, not... boom. Yes. Okay. So yes, he married her see. at the age of six. He was Go molesting her. The verse. Kissing her, touching right. her, play with Here her. Here we go. Read it. This is the theory. I think the word is clear. Until the age of nine, and then he, excuse my language, he did it. <sighs> this is another clear sign that Muhammad is mentally ill because a person who is 54 years old, what he saw in a child. Okay. Uh, but in the old times, uh, you know, women. Uh, my grandmother at the uh, old time because they grow so fast so, she said that she could not she big for peace she not, not big for peace she big for war get the bread as long as you're superior child after three weeks. you say superior by religion then, that's not true when she became by, 10 by, she by had like 10 children and yeah that's normal at the old time um, what what are you talking about all uh, time, new uh, time, is, uh, human is a human. You see, it says here, it says in front of you, it says, warming, if, if so the disbelievers are considered change, more powerful and numerous so than Muslims, then the Imam, general commander, may decide to hold a treaty. Because six in the Islamic may, five in which means if you are not so equal to them, you will not make it, then you go for treaty for them, say we want to have peace. Lie to them, they are want to have peace, we are peaceful people, let us sign peace for the But this is until you are the Yes, my Skype. You are the one who chose me, Katim, my friend. Not my fault. Oh, I look at your six. daughter. I'm uh, saying, how old is she? Uh, well, the Quran. Oh, uh, like, she's a, she'll uh, be six by. Uh, like we shouldn't like take you know, everything. God, my friend, God aren't you the one who said to me you want to see Imikathir? Right? God forbid. Imagine somebody yeah. coming okay. to your house and asking you to sleep with your daughter. So what you would do, you would do now? What well, you would do? No, please. Uh, well, let me, no, okay. not my daughter because I am very sensitive with my. What about here? You say Allah, 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 Allah. Because you are sensitive. This is your daughter. Why you Muslims? You have to obey Allah. So why you accept to have Muhammad? Why don't need to obey Allah only? If Muhammad is just a servant of Allah, who need to obey Muhammad? Because when you obey Allah, you obey everything, correct? You are, you are in the right track. Why the Quran well, says, obey Allah, the... Allah, 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 Obey Allah and obey the messenger and do not infidelate your deeds. Uh, so if you don't obey Muhammad, to, uh, you are not a Muslim. Sound, uh, if you obey Allah, uh, but you don't obey make, Muhammad, it, uh, you are a person, you no, go to heaven. I don't think it's good. You say to me that so Muslims believe in God. Obviously, Muhammad here, he put the name, his name, myself, and his and, uh, obedience uh, equal to obedience of Allah. Okay. Uh, because you cannot obey Allah alone. You have to obey Allah and Muhammad. Is uh, this a shirk? I know the, uh, well, the girl Muhammad is like is prophet, six years so old, but like, uh, if the father uh, uh, agreed and trust, God, so trusted like, the prophet, no problem. God. But he said from God, yeah, then I don't you should think obey there God. was a real problem there. there. If, 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 if what he said from God, say obey God. Why he put his name there? He said to him, "If I say to you that I'm a prophet and God told me to do that, then obey God, not obey me." And she is mine. So he forced Why I put myself between? Why Allah? He's putting his name. Supposedly, the one is talking here is Allah. Why he says obey Allah and. 
And by the way, how Allah he says obey Allah. I mean, have you For ever heard a six of this? Year old girl. If I am a Christian prince, I say to you, obey Christian prince and obey Muhammad. I am a Christian prince. <laughs> Well, this is the part in, in uh, because, because uh, Islam, like there are so like, many things that uh, I am like not happy know, with. Like, but this is the part of like, power? No, like, like he's sort try of, my uh, best like, to like, know, like, uh, make sure it's wrong. Like speaking mm -hmm. when, when because I'm very Quran, sensitive does not with young children. This is one God is the part I always pray every day that is wrong because Allah is seeking royal. The God Almighty is changing His definition by saying we because the King Hussein he said we. Is that a, is that really a reason? Yeah. If he is one, why do you say we royal? Can you show me Allah the part where the prophet like said but that can you are that just we. my brother in religion? No problem. That this is, this is a fast. No, no listen, 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 listen. Okay. When Muhammad, when Muhammad, he says, any Muslim woman she want to give out yeah, her like panty to the prophet person, everything. Is I that an order from Allah head, or this an order from a horny man? His name is Muhammad. Find him in a second. Here we go. The prophet, the, the prophet asked never, Abu, never Abu Bakr, never said that. Aisha hand, well, the verse in the Quran says, in marriage, and any woman, Abu Bakr any Muslim woman, but she want to give herself to the prophet so he can if her. The prophet, he said, you are my brother in Allah religion. Uh, I and mean, Aisha, is what's mine. wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Like, 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 this is coming, this is coming from God. Any woman, she want to if the prophet. I mean, the man, he have many wives already. Why he need God to make for him such a verse? What do you mean? Why God? Muhammad, he have many wives. What does have to do with Islam now? Muhammad is a prophet of God. He came to tell us about God. Muhammad, he want to spread Islam. Muhammad want to convert us to Islam. But Muhammad now he want the vagina of our women. Wait, I, I read. What does have to do with Islam? The prophet asked. Why any believing women? She have a chance. And Muhammad giving her a great opportunity. It's Allah is asking the believers. Allah asking the Muslim women. Any believing women. She want to give herself to the prophet so he can yes thank you how it means so he can if her. I mean what what does have to do with God? Who is the one getting the benefit of this ifing business, the monkey business? Muhammad. The one who created the universe, the one who created the, the, the whole world, is making a verse, says, hey, this, uh, female, any one of you would like to have uh, a bang wrong. bang bing bong with the prophet, give yourself to the prophet. Child. Come on, come on, come on, show me, um, silence me, teach me, I, I mean, come on. Well, like, uh, this is, uh, well, maybe like like the Quran, it's, what you it's not what all you this God's word, like, this. maybe the, uh, like the prophet, uh, uh, she he really put some now. like words in it, I don't know. Uh, yes. What do you mean? Because, what is happening uh, with God? She is here and she's she saying like, say, I am claiming this, that I'm a prophat. This, and, and then I come so here in this chat. I have like one thousand people listening. And I, I say, like, hey, females in the you know, who want to speak with God? This is crazy. This is sick. This is can't be from God. I have not already had many wives. I have many slave girls to deal with. Why he need a verse from God to say any women she want to give herself to the prophet? Obviously, Muhammad now taking advantage of the people. He became a prophet. He became powerful, and he want to have sick labor. But you don't want her to sit. You actually respect his followers. Don't be selfish. Otherwise, you tell me what is the benefit of this? No, not selfish because she has been watching behind my back. And and, the panty of Muhammad uh, and the it was a of the big believer. problem at home panties, because I married a and Muhammad is not a, a single Muslim guy, so Allah is trying to find him a good wife. Five, uh, five, seven he had many now. wives already. So what this is about? After it's very obvious like, that Muhammad is fabricating a verse, like, trying to get women into his bed, I'm like, claiming no, that God told him he's not the guy. He cares that for that man and busy. We both agreed. And look to what happened. We had a Muslim move. when ugly women they start coming to Muhammad. Marriage. Also, wait. What one Muhammad? More, what Muhammad? Did I have this list. She gave me and the people. One, she said there is no marriage in Islam. So what I would true? do, no, I am no going marriage. Where is the marriage? Uh, to make another verse says, I have the right well, to choose means, the one uh, I like. Marriage, you know? No, go to and I will uh, uh, refuse say, the one I don't like. They will bounce you. They will I mean, have you ever heard of that? It's like this. Look yeah. what he said. Because Nikah is okay, not a You, yeah. oh Muhammad, escape the chat. Nika. Go to any chat room in Arabic and pal talk as an example. The women who you you will postpone? What does that mean? mean marriage? Women, they start coming to Muhammad. They are ugly. And he don't like how they look like. So Muhammad, he starts saying, so oh, oh, say that I said yes. whoever so a Muslim woman, she can give herself to me. And now I have a lot of them, and, and many of them, they are ugly. You and so you, how I can get rid of them? You said something so he created another verse. Easy. Okay. Go to saying, the right uh, Allah, he told see me, see I can postpone upon any one of you. And I choose the one I like. If I go to a chat room, I mean, isn't this obvious? Nobody will be upset. He did not do it. So Christian prince, he says, who is a Muslim female? Muhammad, the Christian prince. Who is a female, what a Muslim, Muhammad, Nika, Fatima, Khadija, Aisha, want to stay with me? And then all the women, they, no, they came to my door. And I look from the window, and I see very scary women outside waiting for me to have sex with them. What's the difference? So now I have to save myself from this. So what I do, I create a verse. Allah told me, I can choose and I pick as I like. Okay? Thank you for coming. You, you, the woman who there, you are very old and you are overqualified for the business. You, you are overweight. So thank you very much. You, you know, I don't like reading your face, so you are overqualified too. I mean, Muhammad what kind of a prophet about, this prophet is? Uh, uh, the three nights, three days. Uh, he said, Ishra. Wait, so this verse is so saying Ishra that he is can speaking with somebody, but it's, an, it's a nice uh, word. It's not like what, the what does F that mean? word. The women who is coming uh, to have sex with so him. Let me give you an example. You see, the Muslim in the translation, they lie, they say wives. None of them became a wife. Not even one of them became a wife. Those women, they want to sleep with him because he just told them 
in the previous verse, any one of, the, of, of them, they want to sleep with you, they are welcome. Uh, you mean you mean marry them, right? Not what marry them? <laughs> okay, name for me one of the women who gave herself to Muhammad became a wife. Go ahead. He did not marry any of them. <sighs> Never. I saw it just for sex. Six o'clock. The Prophet six o'clock. Uh, can you show me like the, the, the whole verse just so much so I can so I can read? I'm showing you the, the whole verse. Okay, we go. You can read it, my friend. You can open your Quran from your side if you want. And then here it says, and any believing women. Any believing women, you know, we can change the translation if you want. I mean, there's many translation here. If you don't like this translation, we can change it. You know, uh, whatever you wish. wrong with the, with the website. Let me try again. Uh, uh, this is verse 51 of which chapter? Verse number 50 and 51 in chapter 33. There is somebody doing his nails. Any women want to give herself to the prophet? Huh? Give herself to the prophet. Doing his nails next to you because I hear like some like a brush or something. Imagine we say to those people here they are watching. Hey, Christian uh, Prince Muhammad Hijab, man, he accept uh, donation as cash and women. My please. wife, uh, I mean my and study, come. but she is close to my study. Women? Wait, anyway, wait, we arrived at the point we have no shame. Okay, to say that phone, any man. women she want to give herself to the prophet. Why is that? Man, please go. What does have to do with God? Take, uh, How I can serve God by saying any women she can sleep with me? If I need to, I will ask. No, let her stay. Unless you Muslim, you believe that when Muhammad have sex, he have orgasm, right and Allah, he have orgasm by Muhammad. So, uh, read with me carefully. Otherwise, she's brushing the, my daughter's hair. It's not uh, oh, nails. Okay, sorry, I thought uh, nails. I don't know. This is so. Allah Messenger said, "Can you see it? Disgusting, isn't it? If you a man agree, and a Come woman, on, I advise you to leave Islam immediately. And between two brackets, they say marry temporarily. Well, uh, There's no way. I don't know because like, it says marry. You can show it to well, your wife. It says, "Come on, be honest with yourself. You, you see, you are a gentleman. You are a gentleman. And I'm sure you don't accept such a thing. So I don't think your family, I don't think your 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 history, I don't think your mother, your father are bad people. I think you are coming from a good family. So how in the world you accept such a man come to you and says any woman she can give herself to me? What does have to do with God? What servant I'm doing to God by sleeping with?" This is, not, this is marriage. And Be honest with yourself, my friend. Muslim, you say, see, I'm not against you. When I talk to Muslims, 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 I think I hate them. I don't hate Muslims. I would never hate them. My Lord, he, he, but this he ordered is, uh, me to love everybody. Prostitution. This so is, uh, for I am here trying to help no, you to show you that what you believe in is a scam. This man no, is not speaking uh, for God. He's speaking for his friend. He's speaking for his private part. What's the point of this? You see, giving charity, I understand why. Giving charity is very good. Helping others is from very what good. I learned, but from and, and the you know, all the things to do for others are very good, but to do it for Muhammad, it's all sex. And, and you will see here, it like says it's a privilege from only for Muhammad. Muhammad. What, what does I, have to do with war? This is a privilege Everybody only for war. Muhammad. Muslims Why Muhammad he needs such a privilege? Today we have war. What so that privilege will, 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 will do for him? Nothing changed. Always we What that privilege will do to God? But I always then, if the reason is a war, why the rest of the Muslims do not have such a privilege? Have war. Nigeria have war. Ethiopia have war. You need to ask Sudan yourself, my friend. Uh, when God he gave a privilege to someone, yes, what's the yes. purpose okay, of this so privilege? Okay, is that going I, to I, I, I get your point, but uh, is that going to convince the Christians that Muhammad is a decent man? How you can abrogate the Quran because this is Quran, chapter four, oh. verse twenty-four. Actually, what can I can show you, you where where, where your book saying that if the prophet his eyes days. fall into a woman, her husband he must divorce her immediately. You believe it? This is prostitution. What kind of God he say prostitution is okay? Your books. It's and your books, your Islamic books, this verse, that the if the Prophet, his eyes know, fall into a woman, religion, which means a woman, she was walking down the street, say, and by, Muhammad, by what a man say, you uh, must worship God or you worship a man? He saw her. Who's your God? Oh, we worship Allah. Okay, God. Allah, he says, your husband, he has, is the one who said divorced you her do immediately so the Prophet can sleep with her. The Prophet. Okay, so uh, which one will follow? All right, not verse. This is not, this is. Yeah, but the prophet is speaking uh, from what God yes, no, told him to no, say. No, no, this is absolutely hypocrisy. Without, I don't want to insult you because if Allah He said to Muhammad, "Do this by Quran," then He should tell him again not to do this by Quran because Allah communicated with Muhammad by Quran. <laughs> so nikah does not mean uh, marriage. It's just uh, friend, if we go to the F word. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. If we okay, go, here we go. You know that if a Muslim he divorces his wife three, uh, three this is times, the official government website of the kingdom right? of, of, of Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah, wife, yeah, she has to sleep with uh, we'll okay. somebody the word, else. The before. word sleep, what is the word sleep there in that verse? Do you know what is, uh, you what see is the, it? The, the page, right? Tanka. 
محمد بن جبن 16 privilege if the word tankah mean marriage 16 privilege the first one صفي المغنم which means the best of the booty so if you if we attack a house the big the big screen tv go to the prophet so what the small tv goes to she have to at least ibdad bi khumsi khums so here we go this is a chapter fifth of the booty will go to him this is the second one the three is always so the fourth is as ziyada fi arba'a nisa which means to have more than four women every muslim can have only four this is false al khamis and nikah bi lafz hiba any woman she can give it herself by just saying that there's no need for witnesses no need he can just if her a sadist can nikah bi lafz a woman she can give herself to the prophet without permission from her parents imagine a muslim he cannot do that a woman she can do that to muhammad only السابعه النكاح بغير الصلاه محمد يدونات بيكوبي دو ار فور ذا وومن الثامن نكاحه في الاحاله الاحرام ايفن وين هي از دوين احرام هي كان هاف سكس بس مسلم سكنات التاسع سقوط القسم بين الازواج هي يوست تيك ان اوث نمبر 9 هي كان تيك ان اوث اند هي كان بريك ذا اوث اونلي هيم مسلم كان دو ذات وين هي تيك ان اوث فور وومن اند العاشر اذا وقع بصره على امراه وجب على زوجها طلاقها وحل له نكاحه ماي جيرل ترانس ديت بيت مي لوك وات هابند تو مي هي ميد ماي سكين اجري اون ماي كلوز اذا وقع بصره ذا بروفيت هي سيد تو هير اف ذا هازبند كان هي كان ذا هول ستوري تو تو تايم That if your intention to go back to your previous husband, what do you think of this? You should know why, if your prophet saw a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately, so the prophet he can sleep with her. Allah Messenger said to her, if your if that is your intention, which means to go back to your previous husband, he is not eligible for you. What servant? What what that had to do with God, my friend? What did it have to do with God? Imagine I am a person trying to say to you that I am here coming to serve God. I'm a servant of God. God is sending me to you, and then I say to you, if I see your wife and I like her, you have to divorce her so I can sleep with her. What kind of religion this religion is? This wait wait. I'm trying to make sense of the logic, but it's flawed. I don't think this can solve anything. In the Bible, just... Solomon had 700 wives. My friend, wait, my friend, so if her, she wants to go back... The Bible is a book of wait, history and the book of God, which means history of people with God. So, in the Bible, it might say Christian prince, he commits sin. It might say Christian prince, commit adultery. It might say that Christian prince, he kills people. It might say Christian prince, he have a thousand women. But it's not God who told him to have and to do. I'm trying to understand the logic behind that, but that does not help anybody. He's a crazy man. His name is Muhammad. We have in the Bible many people who commit sin, and they are asking God for forgiveness. As an example, David himself. He commits sin, and he asks God for forgiveness. He did not say that God told me to look at this woman, this woman, and he and sleep with her. He did not make an excuse that this is coming from God. What your prophet doing? He want women to sleep with him, and he claim it is God. This is a privilege from God. This is not his fault. Not to marry. Because as you see here, she is married to a guy already. Still, he oh, is yeah. unlawful for her, yeah, I mean, for her I think, I to go right back to the previous husband. Wrong. Why? So my friend, because thank you very much. You see, you are a decent man. The new guy this guy, I told you, I, I have a feeling about about people, you know? Huh. This person is coming from a good family. It, uh, he, there's no way his owner will accept something. Uh, if Muhammad tried to do that to your wife, I'm sure you will kill him. Because you have an honor. <laughs> okay, I see not the proof. Nikah means F word, not marriage. Okay. Yeah. And what do you think okay, about, so, uh, what do you think about the prophet of God? He said to a woman, so unless he denounces Islam, your say Islam is obviously Muhammad is the false prophet. Juice. That's it. No, I don't uh, get out of this girl. It's no more than a dog. He's a trustworthy, he's a good guy, he's a perfect man, he's a perfect man. The best of mankind, they worship him. They made him in a point that nobody even dared to question his honor. But the second we start reading, we don't even read much. There's tons of stories. I'm not saying like it's polite. We are just scratching the surface outside and they're going to be found. They are all adults and they're talking. It's not like they agree that it's wrong. That's why Muhammad can't be a problem. What do we have to say unless you taste his orgasm and you taste his orgasm? You know the old times, uh, yeah. their way, their Thank grandma, the way of saying. I'm so happy for you uh, that you decided to leave from the way we compose ah, English now. Like, so they know, just like, say like, the way like, they understand. Okay, Jesus was there before like, what's, what's Muhammad. The my friend, my friend, I advise you, I advise you to go and download the the Bible, the, the, the New Testament. Was like a very the New Testament holy is about person Jesus and his teaching. The Old Testament is history and a lot of history. Read the teaching of Jesus and see what Jesus is about. Exactly, is not fitted. It's fit well for Muhammad. Obviously, he's a person working for his own. He's no, I don't think so. I think it's like the title of God, in a way. I mean, if you go to a pastor, I think there's someone trying to use you and abuse you and take advantage of you. I think they are going to talk explicitly. Read about Jesus. You see, it's the opposite. You are the one who said to me the Christian believe that God died for them. So look, 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 look how different is Jesus and Muhammad and all of this. Jesus came to us to save us, and even his life paid to save us. He didn't ask me for a turn. Look at this guy. He wants to sleep with my wife. If you were wrong, I would just laugh and leave. But Jesus did not ask for money. Imagine Jesus. He can raise people from death. How many kings they will give him everything they have? I have to listen to all the kings in the world. They will be his slaves. 
just give me a life, please. Each time but I die, whenever I, I you, ask my sheikh this, he never showed me proof. If just say, don't his believe power, these people and don't let your wife speak to this man. This man, he, he knows you that uh, they talk about so you. So I invite you right now, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your savior. House not to listen to you or any other questions. You breathe. Hmm. But there is no guarantee that you will be so, tomorrow. So, the next one is Maybe you are young, uh, about, but don't worry. There's many people, they are young and they die what before the old one. If you have a friend... Maybe you are 10 years old, maybe you are 50 years old, maybe you are 18 years old, but death comes any then, moment, any second. Yeah. A prophet, he says to you. And then you will not earn your salvation. What did you do, Mary? Did you marry... I invite you right now, as we speak, to accept the Messiah, the amazing teaching of the Messiah, the Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Yeshua al Messiah. The prophet, he only Savior, the one who says, love your enemy. Why? The one who said it's been Why said to you, Mary, but I said to you, child, to what do you have the authority? Child. So she if can, somebody asks you for your call, give him your address. And if somebody asks you to walk a step with him, walk with him 1,000. Of of if somebody curses you, pray for him. Come. Don't curse him and kill him. Wait, uh, and I told you before, I'm very sensitive with uh, He did not say to people, give me your women. He did not say, give me your, 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 your money. Who's which? God what kind of prophet money. said that? Uh, and even servant think, of God. I don't think you're, that's a nice. The Europe second a man he works to serve money, it's mean he is serving the devil. The what? second a man he serves sex, it's mean he is serving the uh, devil. Prophet, all those. See, all of us are sinners. All, and me and you, we are not. But we, we get tempted. We get tempted by women. We get tempted by 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 sex, by 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 money. But we don't claim wait, that God I, I, I is telling it. me to do that. Yeah. That's disgusting. That is an insult to God. If God is a true exist. So I invite you right now, my friend, to accept the Messiah oh, okay. as your Savior. Like a, yeah. And you cannot say one day, I never heard of you, the Messiah, because so one day the time will come, and the Messiah will ask you, did a person, his name is a Christian prince, said, oh, say to you, I invite you to accept me as your Savior, and you said no? died and left behind seven daughters, so I have brought what do you someone want to say, who can look after them. I, I like the, the message so, of Christianity, so like love and forgiveness, I think that... Uh, it's like nice. Well, I feel that it is so, quite hypocritical of him to supplicate uh, for know. someone you just you know, my friend, you know, it's not wrongly. only about forgiveness, it's that not only about like love. Your heart is not in the right You place. see, the first thing Jesus teach you and, uh, is not to be selfish. Uh, when when they asked how to pray, he said, he told them, pray like this, Mary, Father, Lord of Heaven, and then he said, then forgive to us, the same as you forgive to others. This is not about forgiveness. It's about being selfish. Not about thinking about yourself. You see, the problem on this earth is everybody think of himself the same as Muhammad. He wants to be with all the women. How old was the child? But he's not thinking about the women. He's not thinking about the husband. He's not thinking about the feeling of those people using them and abusing them, sleeping around and then dumping them. He is thinking only about himself. That is the difference. Selfishness is about being a young girl like them. Jesus are children. They are orphans. You don't call an orphan somebody who is 18. Serve others. You, right? So you can be served. We when Jesus, he said to his followers, children. I want to wash your feet. They said to him, what you are you talking about? Yourself. You are God. So how you can said, wash your feet? Going to bring someone he like said to them, them, if you don't let me do it, and this is a you don't belong to me. By Muslims, remember. So I don't imagine to God himself, girl who is coming to like us as a man, them. he is humbling so himself and washing our feet. The guy to do, to bring a young girl Why Jesus is doing that? He don't need to do that. The orphans. This Wait, person okay. is resurrecting people now, from death. This, this person is making the blind see. This person is amazing. People, they are immune. What? Whoa, whoa. This man, what he can do? And then he and said to them, I want to worship you. Yeah, but uh, if because it's Jesus the Father, then that means the... Be a follower of him. He already a widowed widow. If you want to follow Muhammad him, you wash the feet. Did you marry to be a, a master, you have to be a servant. A young virgin. The guy, he says... You do what servants do. A widowed. Or previously married. You don't do what masters do. Muhammad, People, says, they want to be masters why you don't to have servants. A young virgin, Jesus wants you to be a servant. Then you are a master. She can play with you and make you laugh. That's my the sickness. He wants a wife to make him so laugh. So I truly, from my heart, this my man friend, is obviously I invite hell. you He's to accept the Messiah because this is and an opportunity me, don't mm -hmm. my it might this not come to you again. Who enjoys seeing kids in his bed and they I made accept. him laugh. Hallelujah. So what is Hallelujah. the purpose of making the man of God. think to be A happiness in the kingdom of God He's for this the brother to think who accepted the Messiah as his Savior. Why you do that? Why? Why you the Bible says woman, she is that the happiness woman. in the kingdom Why of God will go be after a child, for one, one soul is saved. Is this is how much God to, you love you, my friend. To, to have a child in and now you are a child of God. Laugh? Child of God does not mean that God has sex with Mary and you have his son. Child of God does mean you are in his kingdom. You are under his care. You are under his protection. You are in love for him. He is always about you. You made a decision. Okay. He was a boy too. And the Lord loves you. I'm so happy today that you called me. Yeah, this is I'm not so right. Uh, I don't support anything that right involves uh, children being molested or uh, abused because um, they are young. I, uh, because uh, I don't uh, like I that. But this is not uh, a nice uh, word to say like it, from the prophet. But, uh, I'll, I'll and I feel this is just another one of uh, these short comments. Right, if you have any questions, remember, he always prayed for God to forgive. And there's a brother, his name is Shamshamun. 
I feel yeah, this was just the same. The teacher no. you can ask him so questions. You will be happy to teach you. Just tell him Christian Allah Prince Allah send me to you. Is going and I left Islam and I accepted the Messiah. Muhammad he will be happy to have all the Muslims. And now Allah will forgive the sin of the Muslims. I'm so happy for you. I don't even know your name, but I don't care. For the Lord, he knows your name. For the Lord, he knows us one by one. And Jesus, he said from their fruits, you shall know them. Your name is not important. Your name might be Muhammad, but the Lord, he loves you. Your name is not what will define you from today. It is who you are. I know this is what my wife told me. You it's a problem in the Middle East. Oh, no, that will yeah, change. In the Quran, you, know, in you will be a different person. You are not a black stone kisser no more. You, you are not in need to pray in direction of a stone. God is everywhere. Go read and it. God, he don't what? care for people who pray yeah, in the corner. Can, he can just wants us to be like them, not to be hypocrite. Yeah, he he said, when you pray, go to your closet. And I will show Wait, you. So I advise know. you today, so you don't get confused, before you sleep, I will show you anytime you wish. Don't force yourself so in a certain time to pray. This is Christianity. This is not Islam. God is not a frustration. He will take your prayer in a certain time. If you miss it, he will not take it. That is a joke. Anytime you feel like your heart wants to speak to the Lord, speak to him. Say whatever you wish. He's listening. Be decent with yourself. Confess your sin. Say, God, I am a sinner. <laughs> Speak about your sin, not because you are proud of it, Those who but because you are humble and you know that you are wrong. Uh, why? Okay. They May the Lord bless you, my friend. And again, I'm so happy why? that you because called me. If you have any other friends who would like to call me, I will be happy so to talk young. to them and me. bring them to the truth. And as and the for truth those women who they... Uh, uh, you know, like... Uh, Thank you very much. You Take care, my friend. Thank you very much for your call. And May the Lord bless you. Take care. Well, you have to let them... They have to wait for three months after the divorce. Okay. Wonderful person. Now regarding wow. those, or those who they have a doubt see, about their menstruation, there is okay, something I cannot he really says, and re explain. And regarding those who they are too young, maybe you notice that my voice changed when somebody says to me, "I accept." Have menstruation because they're young. Sometimes I feel like age. I want to I cry. Huh? They never have menstruation, and they are marrying them. They are having <laughs> sex with them. It is truly amazing. Children. So this is the verse of divorce. Remember. So and this is why I say to you, love the Muslims. The divorce, still they, don't have they need our help. So in the time of they marriage, do not need what they have. They need guidance. They do not need somebody uh, to make yeah. fun of and them. And this Quran, remember. Some people this think I am making fun of, of Muslims. I am not making fun of Muslims. I'm making fun of the cult of Islam. Wait, I write it. I write it down. I will give you the link. Here we go. I will post it for you. I remember first time I was here. And this is the Sirah Jalal I turned the computer on. I do not know how to turn it off. So, how so you can make fun of me. I, I, I will send the link to my check now. My friend, what? But now I, I know the same switch you turn it on. Is the same switch you turn it on? Oh, well, this is uh, around almost 1 a.m. here. Oh, okay. So all of us we are ignorant in some like disrespect. I don't. Uh, right. The reason why I called you is because the you, problem uh, is like online. So if we believe what, that what ignorance about, uh, is the way to live, you have anyone who live in Nigeria? If we believe that ignorance is wisdom. It's if we well, believe that sin the time, yeah, is the way to be, uh, be uh, around 11, yeah, it's if we a, choose, do you know yeah, it's a bit late. Do you know any and his lifestyle in over God. Canada and USA is still early here, you know? And that is only, No, is... I live in Finland. And yeah. what yeah. Islam does, is that make okay. you believe? All right. So only that God is yeah. about yeah. sin. Friend, you're not going to Muhammad, he makes sin legitimate. Uh, wait, uh, I think this is wrong. Order of God, which is nothing but sex contract. Because they are Muhammad just destroyed like, uh, every teacher of a true and everything. <laughs> That's why he killed, he called himself the eraser. I feel like because I am very, a very sensitive person, for he is going to children, erase Christianity. You are like uh, and he is going to erase Judaism, child and he is going to erase everything I'm good. Not pushing to me. You who mentioned it to me, I did not open my mouth about. And there's no better than the name of Jesus. Okay. This is you who said you. your wife. When I look for dignity, and this is the I list, find Jesus. Right? Okay, next when I look for wisdom, wait, wait, I found Yeshua. Can you go back to the verse where he called us, he said Yeshua, uh, the, where it says that, that you should uh, why did to get married to a The second you call him Yeshua, you are so calling him God. Because I, that, the second you call I him just, the Messiah, you are calling him God. That is like the, that one Muslims gets to me so much. I don't know why because hmm. what they are missing. Here we go. The guy he said the reason I did marry a, a growing woman because and I want a wife. She, she can take care of the of the kids, not someone like them. And this is Sahir Bukhari. So the Muhammadan cannot say to you, the game, this, we is, weak, the name this is no of the Lord. garbage. They cannot say that. For there is no this name is better than his name. Authentic. And by the way, Christian this prince is, is not a priest. So what is the execution? I cannot even claim to be a person better than any one of you. And maybe well, more of, maybe anyway, all of you is better than me. You are married now. But I do my as, best. As you told me, you I do my married, best. You have a family. Why in the to world do I advise I have. you to find a new so wife? Me, me, Even if she is not I can child. help some people to what accept kind of Messiah and see he, he, the truth. You know, he go and he in you, the Lord, he said the truth. Why you this Look for the truth. And the truth will set you free. Come 